In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the really awesome music video inverted color strobe effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get right into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you want to go ahead and create a brand new sequence. And once you've done that, you want to drag some footage into Premiere. Now, once you've got your footage inside of Premiere, you just want to drag that into your sequence. And as you can see, I've just dragged some footage of me in front of a green screen. And this is what I'm going to use for this effect. Of course, this effect is more dynamic on music videos and something where the camera is moving, but you'll get the idea of the technique in this video, regardless of what footage I'm using. So once your footage is on the timeline, you want to go into effects and you want to search for Solarize. And Solarize, if you can't find that, should be in the Stylize tab inside of Effects. You just want to drag that on top of your footage. And as you will see, that's pretty much just inverted or added this really awesome color effect to our video. And we can increase or we can decrease the threshold. And it's completely up to you on how intense you want to go with this. If we pull this all the way down to zero, then we have the original footage. But if we pull this all the way up to 100, then we have this inverted color effect. So as you can see, I'm wearing a black t-shirt. If we pull this all the way up to 100, the t-shirt turns white. The green screen turns purple. My skin becomes a dark blue. So feel free to go as intense with this as you like. Now, once you've chosen an amount, I'm going to choose roughly 60% so it isn't too intense. I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate that footage. So I'm going to hold option on the keyboard, select video layer one, and we'll drag that up onto video layer two. And that should make a perfect copy of the video. Now on video layer two, we just want to delete the solarize effect. And now this is where we're going to do the strobing effect. So use the plus arrow on your keyboard to zoom into the timeline. Press C on the keyboard to load up the razor tool. And then frame by frame, you just want to go through and make cuts in the second video. So you can do as many cuts as you like. The more cuts you do, the longer the strobe effect is going to go on for. And of course, the shorter you do this, the shorter the strobe effect will go on for. Once you've made your cuts, press V on the keyboard to load the cursor tool back up. And then you just want to go ahead and delete the first tiny video that you just made. You want to skip the next video, delete the video after that, and just keep going through this process of deleting every other video that you just made. Now, if we play this video back, you'll notice we've got this really awesome inverted color strobing effect. It's a really easy, but really awesome and cinematic video effect that you can do right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you feel like you learned something today, or if you enjoyed the video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.